Now for 6 part C we had to find the Cartesian equation from this parametric equation in the form y squared equals some function of x. So what we're going to do is we start then with x and x is equal to tan squared t and what I've got to do is try and link this to the sine t over here. So what is tan squared t? Well we know that that is tan t all squared and tan t is sine t over cos t. So that's sine t over cos t all squared. And if I square this out what I'm going to have is sine squared t all over cos squared t. So I've got the sine squared t, that's looking good because sine t is y, so that top part here is going to be y squared. But cos squared t, how does that connect to any of this up here? Well, we should know the identity that cos squared t plus sine squared t is identical to 1. So by rearranging this, cos squared t must be identical to 1 minus sine squared t. And it's that identity that I want to use in the denominator here. So I've got sine squared t then on the top, and in the denominator, instead of cos squared t, 1 minus sine squared t. So what this reduces down to now is that sine squared t must be y squared, so we have y squared up here, and then in the denominator we would have 1 minus y squared. And so it's looking quite encouraging because they wanted y squared in terms of some function of x. So I know that x equals this, and so the next thing I want to do is to multiply both sides by 1 minus y squared. So that's going to give me x times 1 minus y squared equals the y squared. We'll just move this up and all I need to do now is multiply out the bracket. So we have x times 1 is x and then x times minus y squared is minus xy squared equals the y squared. Add this term to both sides, that is add xy squared to both sides, and we would therefore have x equals y squared plus xy squared. Now factorize the right hand side by pulling out y squared as a common factor, and you'd have 1 plus x. And then if I divide both sides now by 1 plus x, I would therefore have y squared on this side, which I'll write over here, equals x over 1 plus x. So I've got y squared in terms of a function of x. And that brings us then to the end of part C and the end of this question.